Hi there, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to speak to you about different activities, in fact seven activities that you can do whilst listening to the audio clips that I've put together for listening practice uh, for German and French. Let's get to it. Number one, there is an op there are options and it depends on your level and how much you want to challenge yourself. So the first activity is to pick either A, B or C. If you really want to challenge yourself, what I want you to do is to minimise the clip um, and not look at the video. All I want you to do is listen, focus on the listening. Second option, so option B, um, if you need a little support, perhaps you know you feel a bit not so confident with this topic or you're still working on improving your listening skills, what you can do is um, lip read. So keep the screen in front of you, watch the video, but lip read as they are speaking. No subtitles though. The third option is if you uh, really need a lot of support, that's absolutely fine. Still, you know, you can still learn something and improve your listening skills. For that option, I want you to watch the video as they're speaking and I want you to keep the subtitles on. So that's activity one. Pick the option that suits you the best. Um, and then for the rest of the activities, you can you can do all of them. OK, if you want to. Activity two. So activity two is to um, so listen the whole way through the first time. I don't want you to note down anything. I, li I just want you to listen. How much do you understand as a percentage? Assign yourself a percentage of how much you understand. Is it 15%? Is it 30%? Is it 75%? Is it 100%? Listen the whole way through and assign yourself a percentage. Activity three. So activity three is to listen again. And this time, kind of focus on listening for the gist. What's going on? What are they talking about? And then once you've listened, you're going to pause the video and you are going to summarise what you've understood. Um, the challenge levels here are if you're kind of pushing yourself, then you're looking at around summarising in about 40 words, 50 words or 60 words. It doesn't matter. Pick one that fits, suits you and summarise what you've heard for through the whole video. Um, and you can do that verbally or you can write it down. Activity four, um, we have... Um, lots of questions posed throughout the video. Um, what you can do is you can listen to the responses and either verbally or written down, um, write what you've understood. If you need to repeat that process per question, please do. Um, but that is the next activity. Activity five. If you wanted to as well, um, you can create a list. So a list of uh, nouns, adjectives and verbs and useful phrases. And the next time you listen, you can note down um, words that kind of fit into these columns. Um, so adjectives describing words, noun things, people, places, verbs, actions, um, and then other useful phrases, you know, in, in sentence form or phrase form, um, if you want to as well. Again, that add a bit of challenge and then you can use those phrases in the future. Activity six. The next activity that you can do is to... Um, watch again, so perhaps towards the end of, you know, if you've watched it a few times, towards the end of the listening, watch it along with the subtitles and note down any vocab that you don't understand. Go and have a look on an online dictionary and look them up, note them down, and then, you know, go away and try to learn them. Activity seven. And then the final activity that I would recommend that you do is to um, download a copy of the transcript. You can download that at the link below. And come back to it in a few days and perhaps do some of the activities again. For example, summarise, so just can't scan through, summarise the text. What What is it about? Did you do it in a similar way to today or are you going to do it in a different way? Would you use different vocabulary? Um, you could also um, just look at the vocab that you had to check up. Do you understand that vocabulary now? So plenty of activities that you can do whilst you're watching any one of these listening practice videos. And the challenge level also depends on your level. Watch the screen if you need some support with the subtitles. Watch the screen, no subtitles and lip read if you need a little bit of support. And if you really want to challenge yourself or, you know, if you're a bit higher level and want to challenge yourself, um, just minimise the screen and listen carefully. OK, so we hope that these activities are useful to you. The whole point of them is to improve your listening skills. So try them out um, with any of the, the videos um, that are on the playlists. Thanks very much. Uh, if you've enjoyed this content, please remember to like and subscribe and comment um, and you'll be kept up to date with new information. Take care.